Dear colleagues, today we will consider aerodynamics of airfoil NACA 0012. First of all, we need to download airfoil coordinates from the website. Go to the airfoiltools.com. This is the airfoil, and we can download it to that file. and save it. Next we should to open it in Excel. All files select this file NACA 0012 open data format with delimiters next and shoot to select space and uh, click to done now we need to prepare these coordinates to design modeler for ANSYS length of the uh, airfoil is 300 millimeters next we should to change all dots to comma and multiply airfoil coordinates uh, by length next we should to add third coordinate is equal to zero number of point and curve number we have only one curve next we need to copy it data and paste it, it in a notebook and then uh, change all uh, comma to dots and save it for example NACA 0012 to design modeler close notebook add uh, fluid float CFX model to workbench space by right click open design modeler next we should import point uh, to uh, program click to point from coordinates file units first select units change units to millimeter please note that the units is in millimeter and import this file NACA 0012 to design modeler and click to generate so we get uh, airfoil points next we should uh, make 
uh, domain for flow simulation. Now we can make a curve of airfoil. Please go to concept and for example line from points. by holding control uh, select these two points and click apply and generate next uh, let's make a curve 3d curve and select all points and click apply and generate next we need to make a normal vector to specify uh, direction of extrusion go to zx plane sketching and make a line Please note that this is a, a vertical line along z-axis. Return to the modeling and make an extrude operation. We need to select a curve and line, click apply and also select normal vector and depth of extrusion is 100 millimeters and click to generate and next let's make a domain model select x y plane and go to the sketching make a circle and and lines go to modify and select trim and extend next go to the dimensions Set the radius to 3000 millimeters and length um, about uh, 6 or 8 uh, lengths of the airfoil, approximately. Two thousand millimeters. I make a little mistake because uh, I want to specify diameter to 
3000 uh, millimeter so please set uh, radius to 1500 millimeters and uh, return to the modeling select this sketch create extrude operation uh, and uh, please uh, choose add frozen and click to generate now we can create boolean operation operation subtract target body is this domain and two bodies uh, airfoil them airfoil body and click to generate geometry is completed and next we can make a mesh uh, please save the project close design modeler and open mesh 